cold outside, but most of the snow is melted. It gets dark so fast now. I'm headed out for my walk and I wanted to read to you guys for a little bit. And I'm actually gonna head down to one of the stores because I have to pick up a couple of things. It's a cute little neighborhood. It's only a couple blocks away from the Viking church and uh, some of the old Viking houses. The church is locked up right now, probably because of COVID. I wanted to read to you a little bit of this book. I have some things highlighted. And also I wanted to read you a surah or two out of this book, the Quran. Ye people, eat of what is on earth, lawful and good, and do not follow the footsteps of the evil one, for he is to you an avowed enemy. O ye who believe, eat of the good things that we have provided for you, and be grateful to Allah, if it is him ye worship. He hath only forbidden you dead meat and blood and the flesh of swine, and that on which any other name hath been invoked besides that of Allah. But if one is forced by necessity without willful disobedience nor transgressing due limits, then is he guiltless, for Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. The parallels between Muhammad and Jesus are striking. Both were impelled by a strong sense of social justice. Both emphasized unmediated access to the divine. Both challenged the established power structure of their times. Muhammad's life is one of those rare lives that is more dramatic in reality than in legend. In fact, the less one invokes the miraculous, the more extraordinary his life becomes. His journey is never an easy one. It involves struggle, danger, and conflict within oneself as much as with others. It means finding the very human narrative of a man navigating between idealism and pragmatism, faith and politics, non-violence and violence, the pitfalls of acclaim as much as the perils of rejection.
Mashallah, tabarakallah. Look at that banana bread. It is beautiful. If you guys want the recipe, it's in the description below. This banana bread recipe has been in my family for many, many years.